Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. We're gonna have super fun today creating this really cool Mother's Day cards. I had this vision and I went with it. So I do this technique where I love to paint and kind of take away and we're gonna paint this lovely teacup and kind of like really kind of mush the flowers to make them more atmospheric and different. Really kind of fun. It's just a technique that I love. I've done several times here on YouTube. Uh, if you're a Patreon member, you get the trace for this cup. No need for a trace though, because you can just find tons of references of teacups on the internet. And also, if you're a Patreon member, you get the additional kind of cool tutorial with this one. So, if you really want to learn this kind of fun technique to paint this teacup, check out this tutorial. Lots of wet on wet, simple techniques that I love, painting florals just differently than other people do here. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You can't mess up. <laughs> You really can't. So any questions, leave them in the comment section and let's have some fun. Okay, so to begin with, I'm using Arsh 100% cotton cold pressed paper. It's like four by six inches. I teared off a sheet from a sheet that I had. I just drew in a simple um, teacup. Patreon members get the traceable here, but you can go online and find a really simple teacup image um, and just trace that. It's not necessary, and they're all different shapes and sizes. So just draw one that you have in your house, which actually is even better. <laughs> and then you have to figure out um, what we're going to do florals and inside and outside. We're going to do a little technique that I love. Um, what color scheme that you'd like to do? Is it going to be blues and pinks, multicolored, or just might be just maybe just cool colors with a touch of something warm, or warm colors with a touch of something cool? So. I don't know. I'm going to play around with um, some purples today. I'm in the purple mood. I don't know why. So I've got Ultramarine Deep here and I'm using a Princeton number 12 Neptune series. I'll mix up some bright rose. You know, again, do the colors that you want to do. More pink right here. The more pinky purple, blue purple. I also have a lilac here. And I've been playing with the Cobalt Turquoise Light, which is kind of fun. So loosen this up. Maybe even more just blue color, ultramarine blue itself. I mean, ultramarine blue itself is just a great color. And I'm just going to start to paint with my big brush, some big florals, in on the cup and around the cup. That's why I use this brush. You just paint some simple shapes. You know, we'll add some greenery. Kind of on the cup. Maybe little dashes and dots. It really kind of loosens you up when you paint with a big brush. See, I'm just going to make these little flowers, little dizzy flowers, could be kind of mimicking the cup. And I went bold, I went right in there with the paint. And there's a reason for that. <laughs> and then on the top, too. So I just have that outline here, not necessarily needed anymore, just to get you the correct shape of the actual teacup. But up here, I grab some more blue tones than purple and water it down a lot of water so it's lighter and we'll put this is my number eight long round I just got a new one and actually I bought two by accident <laughs> I'll go through them so here we're just making some simple petals like this have them coming up way up here you can make da daisies pansies Whatever, I'm just doing some really, this is a quick, quick tutorial on making really kind of pretty Mother's Day card. Um, maybe I'm gonna switch to another brush. I feel like this is not giving what I want. I'm gonna switch to a 10 round. And I'm grabbing the more pinky purples now. Again, let's just take this movement with your brush, kind of wiggle back and forth. And you can kind of move it around in a circle too. See, like that. Take your petals, connect them. Leave some open like this. Little ditzy one, smaller here. See how they're just moving? It doesn't really matter, you're just moving around the paper here. The pink and the purple, maybe even more pink. And I haven't yet touched the lilac yet. Here's that lilac color, just watered down. It's kind of like a gouache tone. Gouache tone. It acts like gouache in a way. That's really kind of pretty and pale. Just make like little daisy kind of flowers here. Okay, at this point, I can add a few more blooms around my cup, but I'm gonna start to put some greenery in. 
See, I'm just tippy tapping like some colors that look like petal shapes. Do the same thing. On the bottom here, we're going to leave that one, not with color. Really simple. Gonna remove some of this color. Let's make some greenery. I always mix my greens because it looks more natural. So cadmium yellow deep, impression blue. It's kind of all you need in a little burnt umber. And you can make a variety of greens with that. More blue or green, darker green, lighter green. Uh, I'll still use this brush for some leaves, but I'm gonna switch to a bunch of other brushes too. So the 10, you can make it just simple. Leaves like this. That chartreuse color is really good with the lovely purple. So you're just kind of pushing down, take the tip of it, pull it out, make some little leaves here. You want to make it interesting, kind of pull it up here. That's a little darker color. Put some little leaves, darker color here, leaves, light and dark, moving around. I'm going to have some flowers come up this way too. Uh, if you still have some blue or lilac. I'm going to have them kind of coming over the cup. I may even just take some of that turquoise, mix it in with my lilac. Let's we'll see what we got with the lilac. Interesting blue. Pretty. So I'll put some little blue ditzy flowers kind of here kind of coming out and maybe some in here peeking through and down in here see how I'm getting this kind of wild theme here filling it in with my dark I mixed Prussian blue burnt umber and yellow to make that deep dark green now it's kind of wet it's kind of bleeding into each other you might want to wait at this point for some of it to dry. I am going to take one of my favorite brushes, liner brush. Look at the makes really skinny little stems. I'm doing that on the cup. Like almost like vines and up here. So you can kind of kind of wiggle it out, connect them. Really, really cool. I just love playing with this brush. Been using it a lot lately, I don't know why. Makes great little vines, grasses, leaves, stems, skinny little guys. So if you're looking for some delicate little stems in here, I'm gonna do that. And down here on the saucer. See just blobby kind of looking flowers. Nothing special at this point. There's a method to my madness though. <laughs> I'm going back with my number 10. If it's so watery, you can just tap it on a paper towel and just lift some of that excess water. And I'm gonna put some more leaves connecting to the stems that I did five seconds ago. And just tap them pushing down. See, I'm just kind of pushing down and making these little delicate little leaves going in here. And I want to mix up some darker ones. Some deeper ones, kind of in between the flowers, pushing down. Coming over here. And then we didn't do ones on the cup. So put some on the cup. Cup has gone wild. You can space it out more than I spaced mine out. I did kind of like haphazard, crazy cup. And tapping little taps. Make it as lively as you'd like. And there we go. Now you could put like a little yellow in the center. That's still wet. So you can't differentiate right now between the cup and um, the flowers. We're going to add a little shading, ultramarine blue and some burnt sienna. And make sure it's kind of dry at this point. 
just kind of shade that side and definitely on the handle right and the bottom Ooh, I got a little purple there. It's starting to look good. I'm going to lift this up and remove it. And there would be some shading in the saucer area in here. And here. Oops. Not dry enough, so it's making it bleed. Well, that's okay. We can try to fix that. Okay, so I have this thing that I like to do, <laughs> and someone's going to go, oh no, she's not going to do that again, but I am, where I paint something and I go back and kind of mush it, so you can see the cup, it looks lovely, you can see all the stuff in it, it looks nice, but now I'm adding a little bit more deeper shadow in here, with the same color as we just used. I am going to take a flat wash brush and go over and kind of mush the flowers. So you might say to yourself, why is she crazy to do that? I really just want to have a more of um, a unique looking kind of card. And that's the only reason. You can keep continuing just painting it this way and making it more realistic if you want. Plain the yellow flowers. Um, yellow center in here or blue or purple but it's just kind of the experience that I was going for in my head I could fail it and so what so I'll take a flat wash brush and I want to wait till some of the seeps in and some of it doesn't right it's already kind of dry you could take the actual brush itself with some just water nothing on it and just kind of mush what you see here See? It's going to change the whole look of everything. I might have waited to put my yellow center in after I mushed the purple. But now you can grab some blue or purple as you're mushing that. Some pretty purple. So it has a little love to it. <laughs> what do I mean by love? Nice pretty coloration. I'm going to go back and grab water. And I'm going to mush just wanted to have something a little different than a typical painted teacup with flowers and that's just me now you might not like this you might say to yourself she's nuts <laughs> I'm gonna grab some more purple here kind of just bleed that in even some blue see it's already changed the whole look right there and I'm gonna just kind of move this around, clean up my brush, start to move this around the cup, and in here. And you could just maybe just do one side and keep the rest, but I'm gonna go for it. It's kind of the look I wanted. Maybe I'll just keep this section not mushed to make it even more interesting. I think it looks really kind of cool. And so I'm standing up just to see how I like it. You can always tell when you're sitting down when you're painting. By the way, stand up, look back. I'm grabbing some grays and mixing ultimate blue and burnt sienna. More blue, gray. Yeah, I like the shadow. Giving it some kind of uniqueness here. Let's see how that looks. Ooh, very, very cool. You see how interesting that became? Going here a little bit, add some depth. And pink, tip tap, tip tap, turn, turn, chisel in. You can add, you don't always have to just take away. I'm gonna grab that turquoise. Such a cool color, put some of that in here. Now, this didn't take much time at all, and look how cool this looks. I love it. Now, what does make sense is that lovely little lip down here should be darker. And just this side, you can kind of lift 
the front end tap back on your tape paper towel by lifting the paint right there and I might lift um, the handle a little bit I think I love it don't fuss with it too much I'm gonna lift the color on the handle and I think it's unique you see a lot of florals and teacups but I had this vision in my brain and people are like, how do you come up with these? Sometimes it just comes in my head. I don't know. I'm going to add a little bit of that chartreuse green in here. And it would be really cool if you add a little gold, too. I don't know if I like that chartreuse green there. I'm going to remove some of it. I did like it, and then I don't. So you can once that dries, you can go in and add some color, too. I'm going to go back and add some leaves here. But I really like... The look of this and I think I'm gonna add more of a sharp line shadow once this dries to over here so at this point and even though I have this mark here it's kind of cool you could have kind of cool marks kind of coming everywhere let it dry and we'll come back and just add a deep shadow and call it a day so it's dry I'm gonna go in and add a couple of shadows um, should be more of a shadow in here this little lip, the cup, add some more back here. And then, of course, I wanted to make a deeper shadow on the bottom of the cup going out. Yeah, I'm loving that. I'm really going to go around here too, playing with this shadow even more so. Yeah, I like how it looked. And maybe I'll add a little bit of depth. A little bit more on the handle. It wouldn't be white. You can play around with your shadow. That's how it worked for me. And a little bit in here. Just add a little bit more color. Cool, isn't it? Not much effort to create a really kind of cool, unique design. Like I said, you could go back in and add some more lovelies. But to keep it the loose kind of look, I might go maybe I touch a little bit more in here. You can add some little lines. But don't get crazy. I love the looseness of it. That's the whole point. Right? I've got my turquoise color kind of popping in here. I don't want to muddy it too much, but I'm really loving how it came out. And look at less than 20 minutes, you have the most gorgeous card that you could give somebody just by using this technique. It's really sweet. I love it. I hope you love it. Um, like I said, if you're a Patreon member, you get another extended card to play with that I'm going to show you. Um, and if you really um, love what I'm doing here on YouTube, you love my channel, you would like to support me, if you consider joining my Patreon and getting extra stuff there, exclusive tutorials that are really long in depth with uh, traceables and more techniques. Um, it's just a place people support my, support my channel here on YouTube, which I really love um, and I really appreciate um, for all the content that I do on YouTube. So thank you so much for stopping by. I hope this takes you out of your comfort zone a little bit just by drawing a little simple teacup and just, I just really just kind of mush down those petals. A lot of people have been painting petals for a long time. Um, I have tutorials all, all over my um, YouTube of how to paint simple flowers and really it's just taking the brush and you see, I see I just kind of pushed it down the petals and moving around the paper. And I think that the key was having a little skinny little liner and playing that and then just mushing that color. It's just magical. <laughs> I don't know why I have it in my head, but sometimes things come out great. So thank you so much. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon.